Jó napot és üdvözöljük az Explained! Ebben az epizódban elmagyarázunk a magyar kormány működését. Ezután nincs mém. Ott tevet küldünk! Engedd Magyarország! Hello and welcome to Explain. In the last episode we covered how the Greek government functions. In today's episode we will be explaining the arguably most controversial government in Europe. That government being the Hungarian government. As most European countries, Hungary is a parliamentary republic, which means that the parliament has both the legislative and executive power. Hungary does have a presidency role, however the president serves well, kind of a puppet. Every five years the parliament nominates a president who is then put into office via the power of elections and yeah he is just basically there as a ceremonial role he doesn't have really all that much power except that he does serve as the chief and commander of the armed forces. All of the real power still goes to the parliament. The president of Hungary is Janusz Adev. The main man who pulls all the strings in the Hungarian government is the prime minister. Currently, as of writing this video, that is Viktor Orban. Now, as most of you should know, Viktor Orban is a very controversial figure within Hungary and in the EU, and we will be going over some of the controversies later on in the video. Now, within the parliament there are 199 seats, which are pure cancer if you're someone with OCD. Why 199? Why not 200? I mean, you have this big of a parliament and you can't afford one other seat? Jesus Christ. And finally, the final branch of government is the judicial branch, which is fulfilled by the constitutional court, who has 15 members, and their primary function is to make sure that the laws the legislative branch puts out are, well, constitutional. Now that we covered what makes the government function, let's cover what makes it dysfunctional. Now, Hungary is a multi-party democracy, which essentially means it has a shit ton of parties. Because of this, I will only be covering the parties which are within the parliament, starting from the biggest, going down to the smallest. First off, we have Fidesz KDNP, which is by far the largest party in Hungary. They have almost 50% of all the votes. The party likes to describe themselves as a right-wing conservative party. They came into existence in 2005 with the merger of two other parties, those being the Hungarian Civic Alliance and the Christian Democratic People's Party, aka KDNP. They've basically been in power since 2005. 10. And here's where the controversial part begins. Now, after Viktor Orban assumed office in 2010, he exploited the supermajority that his party held and decided to change the constitution of Hungary. The new constitution was way more conservative and less secular, which in turn sparked a lot of protests within the country, and it even had the Council of Europe question the sovereignty within the Hungarian courts. The party also planned to limit the freedom of the press, however, after a slew of protests, they gave up on that plan. For now. Now, the party is also famous for its stance on immigration. During the European migrant crisis, Hungary chose to deny refugees access onto their territory and instead decided to build a giant fence around their country to stop anyone from entering illegally. This, of course, sparked a lot of controversy within the EU and the world. Fidesz has also been accused of becoming more and more corrupt and authoritarian. Despite this, Fidesz has continued to be extremely popular within Hungary. The reason being that they've got a lot of taxes and boosted parental subsidies to boost the mentality of Hungary. Their current leader is Viktor Orban, and yeah. Now, if you thought the Fidesz party was controversial, you're going to love to hear about this next one. Next up we have Jobbik, which is a right-wing party which likes to describe themselves as a conservative and radically patriotic party. The party came into existence in 2003, and their primary ideologies are nationalism and anti-globalism. In the beginning of their existence, they stood against the EU and capitalism and also against Zionism, which in turn had them described as anti-Semitic and a neo-Nazi party by the Jewish Council of Europe. However, today the party is trying to distance themselves from those past views and has proclaimed that they love the EU and they support an Israeli state. So there's that. Now, the Jobbik party also has many, many, many controversies, one of those being that in 2009 one of their members, going by the name of Christina Morvai, posted in a public forum saying, I quote, 
I would be glad if the so-called proud Hungarian Jews went back to playing with their tiny circumcised dicks instead of vilifying me. Then there was the incident concerning the Hungarian guard, where in 2006 a teacher in a rural village got lynched by a couple of gypsies. The case got a lot of traction and brought doubt towards the police that they could protect the Hungarian people and also brought doubt that uh, the gypsies could be integrated within Hungarian society. So the Yobik party founded their own nationalist paramilitary group, known as the Magyar Garda, which for obvious reasons wasn't very popular and was dissolved in 2009. There was also the issue concerning the Horti Miklos statue. Now for those of you that don't know, Horti Miklos was a region of Hungary from 1920 till 1944 and the Yobik party decided to unveil a statue in honor of him. Well, as you can imagine, him being a leader of Hungary during the 1940s wasn't very glamorous and uh, many found the statue to be questionable to say the least. Many find Horty Miklos to be a scourge on Hungarian society as he was responsible for the deaths of many Jews, Romanians, Hungarians and even Serbs. And yeah, uh, currently the leader of the party is Peter Jakob and that will be the Jobbik party. Moving on, we have the Hungarian Socialist Party aka MSP. Now MSP is the largest opposition party within Hungary. They were founded in 1989 and are seen as successors from the Hungarian Socialist Workers Party aka the Commies. As you can imagine from their name they are on the upper left side of the political compass. They are anti-nationalism and more for the government while well, doing government stuff. Now MSP used to be more popular back in the day. In no surprise there. However, that all changed after the infamous Usyd speech, where the then Prime Minister Ferenc Gyurcsán criticized the party for misleading the electorate. That in turn drastically lowered the ratings of the party, from which the party has still yet not recovered. Their current leaders are Bertalan Tot and Agnes Kunhalmi. Next up we have uh, every country's favorite laughingstock party, aka the Green Party. As you can imagine they are a leftist party, uh, filled with a bunch of tree huggers uh, that are focused on preserving the environment and whatnot. They don't have much going for them other than some boring within the party drama. However, their Wikipedia article says this. They believe in green Zionism, queer ecology and eco-fascism, which uh, I find very, very funny. Their leaders are Mate Kanas Naj and Erzsébet Schmuck. Then we have the Democratic Coalition, aka DK. Now, DK used to be in the same party as the Socialists, however, in 2010 they decided to split off. And now they are led by the previously mentioned Ferenc Djurcsán. They are very pro EU and they want to see a United States of Europe. Other than that, they are basically advocate for more social issues, such as raising the taxes and raising the minimum wage and pensions. And yeah, that's about it. Then we also have the National Self-Government of Germans of Hungary, which works a lot like the Hungarian party in Serbia. Basically, they advocate for more minority rights and promote cultural things such as teaching the German language within Hungarian schools. Their leader is Iboja Hok Engelenda. And yeah, finally, we have the Two-Tailed Dog Party. Now, they're not in the parliament, but I just really have to mention this party because they're one amazing political party. Now the Two-Tailed Dog Party came into existence in 2006. Their main promises if they get elected is eternal life, uh, world peace, a one day work week, two sunsets a day, and sorted colors, lower gravity, free beer, and low taxes. Every electoral candidate within the party is named Istvan Nagy, which is similar to the English name John Smith. They also promise to build a mountain within the Hungarian Great Plain and also to restore the borders of Greater Hungary by giving other countries some more territory. <laughs> However, even though they seem to be extremely ascendant, discord within the party is very prevalent. Some within the party wish to abolish the bird flu. However, many believe that that goes against viral rights. Uh, in 2009, they held a protest within the streets of Seged with 300 people going down the streets yelling Tomorrow should be yesterday. What do we want? Nothing. When do we want it? Never. Their current leader is Gerke Kovac. And yeah, that would be the politics of Hungary. Let me know if you uh, liked any of these parties and if you would like to vote for any of them. My name is Nick and uh, if you've watched Living Around It in Europe, Ich
Jedno grba Kamila, odmah se pomaga.